I've shown a number of things from Regal Robot on the channel in the past, including this Jabba the Hutt concept maquette, which shows the original design for Jabba the Hutt that was created by Phil Tippett and then submitted to George Lucas for approval of the preliminary uh, Jabba design that they used in Return of the Jedi. Uh, they also made this Gamorrean fighter maquette, which shows the original design for the Gamorreans, the sort of Gamorrean wrestlers that appeared in the show. And in addition to these kind of, I don't know, mid-range type of collectibles, they have some very high-end things like full-sized props and uh, giant Tauntaun busts or Chewbacca busts, that th type of thing. But they also have some things on the other end of the spectrum. Uh, one of those would be this magnet that they sent me to review a year or two ago. This is, of course, Jabba's throne gargoyle in magnet form. Uh, it's got a resin head here that's been painted to look like metal and then an actual metal ring. These are nice and, you know, pretty affordable things. This was released as a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, as I recall. Uh, but since then, they've gone on to release a whole line of magnets in a similar vein. They're kind of all similar size and, and kind of uh, similarly painted, I guess, you know, to look metallic. Uh, one of the ones that I picked up since I got this one, uh, and I believe I bought this one with my own money, is the Rancor Magnet. This is apparently designed using the scan that they got when they were making their studio scale Rancor model, which is pretty cool. They just kind of closed the mouth instead of using an open mouth. But, you know, it's it's certainly, if you can compare the two, they're, they're very similar. They're of a, of a kind, I would say, and they look good together. Um, probably, I would say, the faux metal look came off a little bit better on this one because they've included some blue, you know, patina there where this doesn't really seem to have that on it, but they both look good. So when Tom Spina of Regal Robot got in contact with me and told me about the new magnet that they were releasing for Book of Boba Fett, which shows one of the Rancor gargoyles that's on Boba Fett's throne, I was very interested and he kindly offered to send along uh, one of those and, and also one of their earlier magnets for me to review on the channel. So that's what we're going to do today. So here we have the magnets that they sent me in their packaging. Just a plain black box, but it looks pretty cool. It's got the Star Wars and Regal Robot logos there, as well as an SKU that would tell you what's inside if you knew what that meant. But I'm just going to jump inside and see what we have here. We've got the Rancor Throne Gargoyle Magnet. A little insert here. And here's some information about their website and so forth. I will, of course, uh, link these in the video description if you want to take a look. Inside we've got just some black crepe paper. It's kind of insulating it. And here is the magnet itself. And I'll have to say, this is a very impressive sort of faux bronze look. I, I've had to uh, you know, try and recreate this kind of look before when doing things like Jabba's Throne Gargoyles, and, uh, you know, it can be a little bit difficult to get this really looking realistic, but I think they did a great job here. On the back we've got, well, we've got the sticker, and then under that is going to be the magnet that will actually attach it to things. Uh, but yeah, it looks really good compared to the other gargoyle magnet. It looks pretty similar, but maybe even a little bit better in terms of the metallic effect. I'm pretty impressed with that. We can go ahead and open up the next one. The other one, I should say. This one is, whoops, the Tauntaun magnet. Now, I didn't realize this until uh, just a minute ago when I was researching a little bit, but they actually released two different versions of this Tauntaun magnet. One was a New York Comic Con exclusive that was uh, marketed as Luke Skywalker's Tauntaun and had a broken horn. And this one is supposed to be Han Solo's Tauntaun with the intact horn. But the reason I chose this one when Tom asked me if there were any other magnets aside from this one that I might be interested in uh, was that, as you may or may not know, uh, Jabba has a Tauntaun head a stuffed Tauntaun head displayed on the wall of his palace as a trophy. And in fact, it's 
displayed right next to Han Solo in Carbonite for a while. So, you know, it looks very similar to this, and I thought that would make it an appropriate choice for, you know, a Jabba fan such as myself. It's done, of course, in the metallic look as opposed to a realistic Tauntaun look, which is what they would have probably in Jabba's Palace, but still pretty cool little piece here. These go for $29.99 a piece, and they have uh, quite a number of these now in this line. In addition to these two, we've got, well, I guess I should say in addition to these four, the ones that I showed you, they've got things like um, a wampa arm and a do back head and oh various things if you want to go check them out uh they're pretty cool so thanks very much to regal robot for sending these along i will put them in a place of honor on my desk uh just sort of on the side where the metal metal frame of the desk is so that i can pretend that it's a miniature java's palace thanks very much for watching and we'll see you again soon this video was brought to you with the help of my patrons from Patreon, including these palace VIPs you see right here on your screen, and Angelica Brady. Thanks very much for your support. Click the link in the video description if you want to know more about how you can support the channel for as little as a dollar a month.